I can think of only two main reasons to reset your iPhone to factory settings. When something has really gone wrong and you just want to start over, or you're going to sell or trade in your iPhone. In this short video, I'll show you how to do it quickly and safely. Hi, my name is Rich and I make easy to follow videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad, you know, without going nuts. If that sounds like something you might find helpful, please consider subscribing. We're growing and I'd love to have you join this channel. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Your support means a lot. You know, believe it or not, resetting your iPhone to factory settings is not that hard. Today I'm using an iPhone 16 Plus running iOS 18. And depending on which operating system you have on your phone, things may look a little different, but probably not a lot. Either way, the process is not that hard. Okay, let's get started. So this is not all that hard to do. Just go into settings, scroll down to general, and then go all the way to the bottom and hit transfer or reset iPhone. So I'm going to transfer reset iPhone, and then you're going to erase all content and settings. So you tap on that, and it'll say erase this phone, continue. Now it says, are you sure you want to erase all the data? This cannot be undone. So here you have a choice of keeping your eSIM and erasing the data or deleting the eSIM and erasing the data. So if you're just resetting your phone, um, you may want to keep your eSIM, which is the thing that connects your iPhone to the telephone service that you're using. Um, if you delete your eSIM, then you're going to have to go back to the uh, phone store and get it reset back up. So I'm going to tap on keep eSIM, but erase the data off the phone. So I'll tap that. And now it wants my passcode to do this, and I'll enter that. And now you need to have your Apple ID uh, password. So I'm going to enter that. and I'm going to tap turn off and now it wants to try face ID to recognize me and I'll tap turn off and there we go and we'll just let it run its course. One thing to note that you didn't see here is that it'll give you the option to back up your iPhone, and I would encourage you to do that. That way when you set it back up, all of the settings and the things that you had on your iPhone uh, will come back in there, and you don't have to go through uh, everything from scratch. When I reset my iPhone, though, I do like to start from scratch, particularly if I've had a problem. I just want to clean the thing out, pretend like I just brought it home from Apple, and now I'm going to set it up as a new iPhone. But you do have the ability to back it up. I didn't show you that here because I've got my settings in such a way that I don't even really want to back up the phone. And just like that, now you are back to setting up your new phone. And you can see it's there, and if I swipe up, I can just begin the entire new setup process. Really not that hard and something you'll need to do if you have a problem or you're taking your phone in to trade it in or sell it. Well, that's it, and it wasn't that difficult to do. I hope you found this short tutorial helpful, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.